Hello and, uh, and welcome to WordPress, well this is WordPress 3.81, okay, so this is one of the most recent versions or the most recent version as of, as of this recording. And what I want to basically introduce you to is the, the dashboard of WordPress. Now it's going to look a little bit different depending on what sort of screen size you have, but the first thing you'll notice is the welcome message, okay, that's the first thing you'll notice when you log in. If you don't see this, or you don't see any of these other things, which you can drag and drop into the places that make suit you most comfortably, so every single user can have their own different dashboard within your system, okay? And you can drag and drop them however you feel most comfortable. But if you don't see some option, you can go here to the screen options, and always look for this, for help, and for the screen options for every section that you're in. Okay, if there's something missing, more than likely it's unticked here. And you can see that it disappears when it's unticked. So the welcome message, if your developer's done it for you, the welcome message might disappear. Okay, so basically this is the dashboard. This information just tells you how many articles you have and, and, and comments and things like that. And this is activity, for instance, when recent published items, how many comments you've had, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, and that's this is directly from WordPress. So I usually switch off the WordPress news, um, which sometimes has got some good information, but most of the time it's just a bit of junk. Okay, and the quick draft I normally switch off too. Okay, all right. So um, this is a good uh, little primer on how to how to start things uh, with your with your with your uh, website, but this is just installed, so we're going to do it raw. So let's look to the left hand side, okay, which is something you can collapse and expand by click, clicking on this thing here. And you'll notice that all these, all these areas here appear on the left side. So let's go through them. On the dashboard with home and updates, that gives you the latest updates. Now, if you've got a developer who's doing your website, you should leave the updates to them. And if they're not doing them, then find another developer. You know, updates happen all the time, so it's not they're not going to be logging in all the time. But what you want to make sure is that you're getting the security release, re releases updated and stuff like that. And that quite, can be quite a, a burden for a developer when they've got you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 clients. But there are ways to do this. And, and WordPress now has an automated feature, which is a bit hit and miss whether it automatically updates or not. But the security re releases, it should do that. Okay. So then you, so down here you've got posts. Now this is where the, the, the real uh, beef of it is. And, and that is basically creating news articles uh, f uh, for your website, okay? Blog posts, as you will. What you probably first want to do is, is set up some categories for your, for your site. And, and, that's, and it's quite simple, but I'll, I'll go through all these sort of things a bit later in other, other things. But you've got your posts, you can add a new one. That's your tag repository where all your tags for your posts go. Uh, categories, all the different categories. So when you write a post, it might go under events, news, um, you know, different things depending on what industry you're in. Now, media is not something that you usually go into and do work in. It's where all everything that you attach to a post is stored. So if you attach a, a photo, a, a document, that they're all stored in the media library. Okay. Um, and they're also stored against or on within each post or page. Then you've got pages. Now pages are things like about us, our company, our, our team, uh, our location, contact us. They're static entities. Okay, they're things that you will you will update very rarely, but from time to time, just to update phone numbers, details, your, your company details, things like that. Comments are when people make a comment on your blog or page, uh, post or page. The appearance is, is what theme you're using, okay? Um, so if you've just got the standard theme, but you can change the themes in WordPress just here, you know? Okay, and then plugins are all the plugins that are being used on your site, whether they're active or not active, okay? Um, it's, it gives you there. Uh, users are, are the users of your site. Now that's probably the first thing you should do is update your user information. And tools, you can import and export posts, and settings are all the different settings for the site. With how your discussion works, whether someone can comment on your site and it automatically goes up, or whether you want to moderate that comment before you put it up. Uh, my preference is always let comments go up, uh, but let, make them moderate the first one. Make you moderate the first comment, 
And if they make another comment, it just goes up automatically. Very few people write uh, a bad when it comes to that. I manage some websites that have thousands of comments, uh, 10,000 comments, 20,000, 30,000 comments, and you get one every now and then where someone's behaving like an idiot. But your best, it's always best to let them comment because otherwise if they comment and it doesn't go up for a week, they will never come back and comment, okay? Um, media, permalinks. Permalinks is something that you want to set up as well. I would always go for day and name or month and name, Those one of those two. That means that when your website, if you've got your about page, for instance, www.yourwebsite.com forward slash about, it will appear exactly like that in search engines. Out of the box, it just works by numbers. So wordpress.com forward slash 1564, which is really bad, okay? All right, um, and the, you know, with, with, with the server that we've set up, this super cache gets uh, enabled automatically, okay? So if we, if we have a look at the website, you'll see that there's pretty much nothing nothing on the website now, it's just a blank canvas, okay? So that's a basic overview of WordPress, but just remember, wherever you are, always look in the help section, okay? Always look for the help section for, for information about how you do things. And if you get stuck, go on, to, go on to YouTube and type in something like how to set up permalinks WordPress, and you'll find videos up there. Always do a sort by date range because you want to have the latest videos the most recent videos because they might be irrelevant because WordPress does update a lot, okay? So you can always filter by date, so the last month, last year, and stuff like that. The same with when you search for help items on, on Google. You make sure you do a, a date range search. All right, so that's an overview of WordPress. I, I, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it, and um, if you've got any questions, just make a comment. Thank you.